All right, what is going on? Today I want to show you Torre Benson's site. It's a portfolio site that won site of the day on awards. And I love how he's got these outline text and the field text interplaying with some video. Specifically this part here as we're scrolling, we have the uh, video there scrubbing along the screen and it's revealing some outline text above, but the field text is staying below for the title of the portfolio piece. So it goes on and on. I first actually built this in GSAB, but at the end was like, this would be super easy in Webflow IX2 as well. So today I'm gonna to show you how to build this out in Webflow. Let's get to it. Hey there, Webbay. Okay, here in Webflow, I've got a really basic project set up with just kind of some structure divs here. We've got our heading to tell you what video this is. Then we have a section, global padding, and our container. We'll go ahead and start by dropping a div with a class name of layout right inside of our container there. Now, this has a display of flex with a direction in the vertical direction, could be horizontal as well, with a center and center set. We're also gonna set the minimum height to 80 viewport heights or really whatever you want here. I just thought 80 looked pretty good. Within layout, we have another div. This is a link and we'll call it item. And this just has position relative. And that's really it because we're gonna be putting some items with absolute positioning inside of them. So the parent needs to have position relative in that case. Now, the very first thing we'll put inside is this field text link. So this one says ride your bike and it has a class of text field and we can see that it also has position relative and Z index of one. Essentially what we're gonna do here is we're gonna stack a layer, like three layers. So we'll have field text and then on top of that, we will put our background video and on top of that, we'll put another text layer which has the outline. The next element we'll drop in is a background video element. We'll give it a class of BG dash video and set its position to be absolute. Now, since its parent is currently set to flex center center, it doesn't have any size information, but we're gonna go ahead and set the aspect ratio with some custom CSS in just a minute. The last layer, which stacks on top of everything, will be this text outline, which is another H2. And now I give it a max width of 56 rem, the same as the container, just so that it doesn't have any weird text overflow issues. And this also has position absolute and a Z index of three, as you can tell. So this is gonna be stacking on top of everything else. It also has a color set to transparent so that when we set the outline color, we'll be able to see the text filled div right below it. Now let's go ahead and copy two more of these layout items. So we have ride your bike, wash those dishes and eat that donut. And then we'll also just put in a blank 100 viewport height div at the end there. Now let's drop in our embed and have a look at what custom code we're gonna use today. Let's open up some style tags and within those, I put this on every project, but we want to target the A tag, or in this case, the anchor links, or in this case, every link that's on the page and remove the default Webflow styling, which is like that blue or purple color that you're seeing and the underline. So we'll set color to inherit and we'll set text decoration to none. Next, we'll create a class called text outline. And this gets a property of webkit dash text dash stroke set to one pixel. And this color right here is kind of that background yellow sepia color that we have. Now I want you to be careful what fonts you use this with because depending on whatever font you have, it may like squiggle over itself or whatever. So just test it out and make sure you find a font that does work with this property. We'll also define our BG dash video class to have an aspect ratio of one to one. So it's just a square. And then we'll set contain to paint on our page wrapper. This will prevent horizontal scroll as we're scaling and moving items with our interaction, very similar to overflow hidden. Now, if we save that and then scroll down, we can see that what we're getting, let me hide this navigator. We're getting the text fill to show below. And then right in the middle of that is this BG video element. And then on top, we have our text outline. Let's go ahead and look at how to start doing the animation now. Now, these layouts are kind of looking pretty close together. So I'm gonna change the min height to 100 viewport heights. And then because we want this layout div to be the one that's controlling our scroll-based animation. So for layout here, I'm gonna go ahead and head over to the lightning bolt for interactions. And we're gonna add a while scrolling in view interaction. Now we want this to happen on every breakpoint and we want it to affect the class of layout so that we don't have to rewrite the animation for our other items. We'll make sure that this action plays a scroll animation and we want it to start when the element starts entering. I think that's um, that's kind of early. So we'll do like, let's set the offset to 50% and we want the animation to end as it starts exiting. So basically right when the text is in the middle, I like that. Now let's go ahead and add our animation so we'll get the text field here, and this is going to scale from 1.5, and we want it to be in the X and the Y to a value of one. And we're gonna do the same with our text outline class. So scale from 1.5, scale to one. 
All right, and we can turn live preview on and we can see that right at 0% is this is coming in, boom, now it starts animating. And we're already like way past where we wanna be. So let's save and just have a look at this real quick. It's animating way too long. I wanted it to stop when it was in the middle. So let's have a look at what we set our animation boundaries to. So we have it to is fully invisible here. We want it when it starts exiting. So that should be a lot better. And then I also thought that this needs to be bumped down to 40%. So let's have a look now. Preview, and we can see, yep, that's starting to animate. And then oh, it locks into place just around the center there. Next one's doing the same thing. And the last one's doing the same thing as well. Now let's just take care of moving these videos. I actually want the videos to have different animation boundaries. So what I'm gonna do for that is I'm just going to add a whole nother while scrolling in view animation. And this will trigger on every breakpoint. It's going to affect the class. And we'll play a scroll animation and let's make a new scroll animation, call it videos scroll, click enter. And now I'm just gonna save because I saw I didn't name this. So let's go ahead and name this to headings scroll and save and now we want the video scroll is selected already. We'll set the smoothing up to 90%. And we want this to start when the element starts entering. Yes, that sounds great. And we want it to end when the element is fully invisible. Perfect. Let's hit the gear icon here. And now we'll select our BG video element. And we wanna move this thing from something like 100% over in the X direction to negative 100% over in the X direction. So now I turn live preview on and we can see how it's scrolling across. We could probably even go a bit more. Uh, 120 to negative 120%. And then we also want to animate the Y. So this will be something like 50% back to negative 50%. And let's have a look at live preview. So yep, yeah, this thing is now kind of diagonally cutting across the heading there and it's happening on every one. And then we also want to affect rotation a little bit. So let's add one more keyframe. Rotation in the Z from 15 degrees to a rotation of negative 15 degrees. And live preview. And boom, that thing swipes across and up to the top left. And it's happening on this one and on this one. So I'm pretty happy with how that's looking. I did set the smoothing on this one. I don't think I set the smoothing on our headings. Yeah, so let's up that to 90% and exit out of that, and we'll preview our animation now. So scrolling, ride your bike, wash those dishes, babe, and eat that donut. Mm, I could go for a donut right now. Anyways, we could publish this, it's ready to go, and let's just have a look at how it behaves on mobile. So it's coming across the screen, looks pretty good. You might wanna adjust the, um, the text outline there, but yep, it's working, so that's it. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.